We have uh, two uh, individuals who have been sent in for an examination. One lives in Nevada, one lives in California. They're headed up to Whistler, they said, for approximately 48 hours. Uh, they said they plan on snowboarding. And uh, we're going to be taking a look in the vehicle today to see what they have with them. Be some marijuana. As soon as I was looking in the front passenger side of the vehicle, I was getting a, a whiff of it. So I was pretty sure there'd be some in there, and sure enough, there is. Is he by himself? No, there's two of them. Before confronting the traveler, the officers okay, test what they found. Let's see if we can get a confirmation. Let's see if my nose is right. Heroin, opiates, and THC. THC being the active, active ingredient in marijuana. Um, that's what I expected, obviously, because you can, you can smell it, I'm sure. But uh, I was a bit surprised by that. It could be nothing, but we'll, we'll keep our eyes open. It's not a conclusive test. It just shows us that there may be something else there. Come on up. Uh, anything you have in your pockets, just put up there for me, OK? So obviously, I, I started looking in the car. Did you know what I found there? Um, a little bit of marijuana. How much marijuana is out there? Probably like a, less than a quarter, a quarter of an ounce. So at this point, I'm going to place you under arrest, OK? Just come over here. Yes, sir. Listen to what I tell you to do. Put this hand behind your back. Transporting any amount of narcotics across the border is an arrestable offense. So I'm going to be going back out to the car. Am I going to find anything else? Like, do you have any more weed out there? There's just a little blue um, that was in my front bag. It has like a pipe and probably, you know, like a bowl full. OK. It turns out the traveler has a medical license in the state of California to use marijuana. Now you're crossing into Canada. Well, I thought that they, because they had medical laws here that it's... Not, not bringing it across the border. You're going to wait in here while we, we continue our examination of the vehicle. So we're going to go take a look, see if we can find some more. So there's a pipe with residue, a grinder, some more marijuana. There's going to be more uh, narcotics in here. So he's put it, uh, coffee grounds in there. He's trying to mask the odor. This is more marijuana, I'd say. There you go. I got uh, marijuana popcorn and marijuana energy drink and marijuana hard candy. This is adding up on this guy. When we get back inside, we'll weigh it all out and see what it is, and then we'll determine from there uh, what kind of penalty will be levied against him. They may deny him entry, seize his vehicle, or pursue criminal charges. Popcorn that's been covered in caramel and a mixture of butter, but the butter has marijuana in it. Just under eight grams. But it's not enough to charge him. There's still more work to do, but I'm going to let you out. If my medicine is considered medicine in my state, and my medicine is considered medicine here, I don't understand, and I'm not arguing, I'm just asking questions because I don't, I don't understand what, like, what I've done wrong. Well, you crossed the border with marijuana, that's what you did wrong. So, you can't do that. So you can't cross any international border with marijuana or any other narcotic. If it's a controlled substance. You can't bring it across the border the way you did. OK, so we're going to head out this way to the office, OK? So what I'm going to be doing is uh, sending them back to the U.S. tonight. The uh, gentleman that was uh, in possession of the marijuana, he'll be given what's called an allowed to leave. It's not an enforcement action. It's just saying that you're withdrawing your application to enter. and you're. I have to leave the country. I can come back uh, later, but they confiscated my medicine, and I have to figure out how to get some more medicine. 